Hey folks, Jenner and Morgriffin here. Tonight, taking a look at the VV Nova tank system. Um, I picked this up at Clouds of Paper. I'm sure other people have it in stock as well. Let's go take a deep dive. Let's take a look at what comes with the VV Nova tank system in one set. It comes in one box. Pull the insides out. It comes with one atomizer coil and wick installed and then two spare ones. Some very tiny writing on the side, but they do say 1.8 and 2.8 on the outside. And the one that's installed, came installed in my unit, was the 2.4. So let's go ahead and break the tank out of the package. It kind of looks like a syringe tube. It says VV Nova on it. It has markings to almost 3 mil to measure your juice and you can see the wicks hanging down. I'll just pop the uh, drip tip off, standard fair one. Now you unscrew both caps which is kind of nice and makes the maintenance easy. They aren't, if they are metal they're not very heavy gauge. There's little o-rings on either side to keep it from leaking and we can also unscrew the tank itself so there's no of the heavy pushing and pulling to get things in and out and another nice o-ring on the bottom there. It also has little air holes. I'm not quite sure why. So this is the whole piece that screws out. So if your coil were to go bad, you would just take this out and replace it with another one or with a different resistance one if that's what you wanted. Also makes it easy to clean those wicks out if you're changing juice flavors in the tank. Um, and you can also order them one at a time. I ordered that extra 1.8 ohm one. There's also an O-ring right at the bottom of the uh, threads there, and it clearly says 2.4 ohm. So let's put this one back in. Multiple threads that almost go down to the bottom, which is pretty much what you want. Now let's go ahead and screw the tube back on. Bare bones 510 connector. Bottom does stick out quite a bit lower than the thread, so on some mods like the silver bullet, you might not want to screw that down very hard at all. And then you would just screw the top back on. So let's go ahead and fill this with some juice. Oh, what will I fill it with? This looks good. Nice, totally thick, very dark, very VG organic juice, so we'll see how it wicks. Fill it up to about the top of the wicks there. Screw the top cap back on. And grab our mouthpiece. And we are ready to vape. No muss, no fuss. So let's take a look and see how it works. So that's the VB Nova tank. It's pretty comparable to a CE2 tank um, with the bonuses that it's not as hard to take apart or change that piece out or clean it um, because it unscrews so nicely and the coil and the wick part unscrews. That makes it easy. It's not very finished looking. I mean, to me, it looks like sort of like a syringe modification. It's not very fancy, but then it wasn't very expensive either. Um, if you like the old CE2s, you may like this. If you're fine with the dual coil cardamizers, I don't know why I'd switch unless you just think you might find switching out just that little coil bit and the maintenance of it is a little easier than shoving whole cardamizers in and out through the O-rings top and bottom on a normal tank. Um, it took a little bit for me to break it in. Um, for the, like the first hour or two, there was almost no flavor. I'm like, what, what juice do I even have in here? Um, the vapor production's been great. Now, I have an organic juice in here, so it's pretty high VG. But that's pretty decent vapor production. The flavor has gotten better. Um, 
as it's broken in. I haven't had any problems with dry hits. This is my second tank. You know, like most things with wicks, you gotta tip it a little bit to make sure the wicks stay wet when the liquid gets a little lower, but, you know, not significantly. Um, the wicks are picking up the juice nice. I haven't really had much dry hit problem. They're okay. It's nice in that they have the different ohm variations that, you know, we can't get in dual coils. Um, so if you're into that, 2.4, having a 2.8 option and a 1.8 option, that might appeal to you too, all in, in the same tank, as it were. Um, I'm probably going to stick to my dual coils just because I'm used to them. I don't think I'm going to go run and get a whole bunch of these, but if you like the CE2s, you like a lot of vapor, and you like the easier screw-on, screw-off caps, um, it might be a good choice. Definitely improvement over the standard CE2s.